from your local election headquarters. This is Big Country Politics on KTAB. And here's more from the Mayor's State of the City address last week. And our economy is very, very strong. You know, we have around $7.3 billion in regards to money generated annually from Abilene, Texas. I see Justin Jaworski in the room, uh, love your numbers by the way, represents, if you look, at the $7.3 billion, that's about $600 million in the last three years. Household income is up 21%. Having said all that, we can still do better. And we will do better. Uh, I mentioned MISTI, you know, the DCOA celebrated 30 years. Uh, the very first development corporation in the state. Um, in the last 30 years, the DCOA has invested about $106 million in regards to incentivizing the private sector. In turn, the private sector has invested $634 million in the city of Abilene. I'll give a round of applause one more time. Um, Doug Peters, who is, as long as Norm is not here, the best salesman in Abilene, Texas. Stand up, Doug. Um, Doug, you know, th there is important, you know, that we engage the private sector. So what Doug represents is 1,700 business people who have made a commitment to work with Doug and others to help promote Abilene and look at the impact that they have made. Um, that previous slide, it looked at our employment is about 2.9%. Um, there are about 27 jobs in Abilene that are, are, are vacant. And we have around 1,900 that are unemployed. There's almost a $1,000 gap in separation in regards to jobs that are needed and inventory to fill those jobs. So what Abilene Works does, it provides a specific gateway to our airmen and their dependent, dependents to be able to apply for jobs in our city. And not just as Air Force Base. There's also connectivity with other military installations around the state. This is the best state in the union, you know. And so we want to keep those folk here. And I can't thank Doug. Um, and we also have Darren Black. Um, Darren is the current president of the chamber. You know, you guys, for the work you do of advancing, I'm giving a round of applause if you don't mind. And still to come on Big Country Politics, a historic trip for Dias Air Force Base, how the current airmen are honoring those who served decades back. Stay right here.